Over 95% of the world is water. And while only 3% of that water is fresh water, that's the water that we are surrounded by in Michigan. Fishing is a great activity to do on your local lakes, ponds, streams, creeks, whatever you have. I've been fishing my whole life and I, I love it. It's one of my favorite activities. I think if it, it's important to make um, make the best use out of our times on these on these bodies of water because this it can be like the, the most fun you'll have and you'll rem remember these memories for the rest of your life. So today I'm going to tell you about the three basic things of fishing. Lure choice, basic bass behavior, and gear. First off, we'll start with lure choice, and I would like to divide this up into two main categories. Moving baits, fast moving, and slow moving. So first off, fast moving, we're going to go with a spinner bait. Now you can work this slow, but it's usually a fast moving. It gets its name from these blades that spin, and you can see they reflect a lot of light, cause a lot of vibration. Bass love it. This is one of the best uh, fast moving lures that imitates shad. Spinner bait, great option. Next, I've got two here. They're crank baits. One build, one not build. So this is the build one. You can s clearly see the build there. It um, dives like this and goes kind of swims like that. As you can hear, both of these give off a lot of vibration. They imitate shad, bluegill, craw. It all depends on the pattern. This one is a craw pattern. This one is like a bluegill pattern. Two great options here: the crankbait. Next, that's it for fast moving. I could only do two. This is the jig. This is the first one in our slow moving category. This is in a summer craw color. So this is a this is a football jig. There are many types of styles of jigs. Here's another one. This is a swim jig. Most jigs are like this one, and they imitate craws. Usually have a trailer on the back of this, but this one is a swim jig, and this imitates um, like bait fish or shad. So jigs, great options. One of the best bass lures, in my opinion, the jig. And then the last one for the slow moving category is, I have it on my pole here, it's a Ned Rig. You can see that this head in the water will stand up like this. Fish love it. This is great for smallmouth. So yeah, the Ned Rig, usually I have a swim bait on here right now, but you usually put crawl lures on this, on this rig. So yeah, Ned Rig, that's another great option. So now, you can't throw any of these if you don't know about color. So, wait right there. Color in fishing is very important. I found this great graph to depict color accurately. So for um, clear water right here, we have any look anything that looks natural. So we got these white for minnows. We got these browns for craws. They're just natural looking colors. Over here for dark water, we've got our chartreuses, orange, uh, pink, just unnatural colors. Black and blue is another great option for dark water. So that is all about color. Now that we've talked about color, I would like to move on to basic bass behavior. Um, for basic bass behavior, we're starting in pre-spawn, so moving from winter into um, summer. So if you can see this, we've got these deep bass in winter are out deep. They um, It's too cold for them up shallow, so they're going to move up into these spawning categories. And pre-spawn, it's important to fish cover. So if there's grass here, you want to fish this, logs, just fish cover. So moving on to the spawn, this shows their spawning grounds. They're going to be pushing up very shallow into these spawning grounds, these areas. Um, and then moving on to post-spawn. Post-spawn, you can see the males will hang out on the beds more, and the females will move off onto cover. Moving into summer, they will move out of these spawning grounds back into the deep. And in summer, they will also be chasing shad. If you can see this down here, these are the shad that they're going to be chasing out on the ridges in summer. And then back into fall, these shad are going to push all the way back up into these shallow, not really spawning grounds, but back up shallow in the bass. Wherever there's shad, there's bass. So that is it. That is a brief introduction into basic bass behavior and basic bass patterns. Now I would like to move on to the gear that you're going to need. First off, to start off gear, we start off with the basic one, the spinning rod. So this is my spinning rod. For the reel, the gear ratio, the gear ratio is just saying 
how fast is the reel going to be? Um, I use a faster gear ratio. I use a seven gear ratio. Um, most people like fives and sixes for spinning uh, reels. That's the most versatile gear ratio for the rod. The the action and um, power just determines how stiff is your rod going to be, how much casting distance, how sensitive. For a spinning, you want a medium fast action, medium power fast action rod. And for spinning rods, for people who don't know how they work, you pinch this line back. You flip open the barrel, and then you cast. I obviously don't have enough room to do it here. And then you cast, and then it'll automatically go. A lot of people love spinning reels because they don't get tangled ever. So, spinning reel. I'll move on to the next one, which is the bait caster. So, this is my bait caster. Um, so, how bait casters work is you're going to put your thumb down. You're going to go boom, you're going to have to keep your uh, thumb on the spool, bait caster, and then you just cast and let go, but before your bait hits the water, you have to put your thumb back on that spool, or else it's just going to spin, and you're going to get tangled up. For a bait caster, I recommend medium heavy, fast action. You can do any, everything with that. Just remember, medium heavy, fast action when purchasing a bait caster. Um, this one isn't a medium heavy, fast action. I actually don't have that one right now. Um... I don't have it with me. Uh, so now that we've talked about gear, I would like to move on to, um, well, I would like to recap what I've told you today. So today I've talked about lure choice, basic bass behavior, and gear. Through this lecture, I hope that you guys find a new hobby because fishing really is one of the best times you can have in the summer. I hope you go out and try it. Thank you.